the next dairy product that we are studying is cheese we all love cheese there are so many different types of western food items like pizza burger sandwich which make use of cheese there are so many different types of cheese also available in the world britain alone has 750 different types of cheese whereas france has 400 some very common types of cheese that you all are acquainted with is mozzarella cheddar feta gouda parmesan and processed cheese so today we are going to learn how this cheese is prepared so for making uh, cheese cow milk is used and certain chemical and microbiological tests of milk are performed now cow milk is brought from small villages and from there it is collected in the milk tankers and then it is carried to the milk uh, factories where the entire process of making cheese is going to be carried out one of the most popular brands uh, that produce cheese is amul cheese so i'm going to share a video of how amul prepares a cheese so it's very interesting the entire process right from how the milk is brought in by the villagers how it is collected and then finally the product is uh, prepared so once the milk is brought in by the villagers it is collected in the milk tankers and then when it reaches the factory it is tested so the milk is going to be tested from every tanker for its fat content what is the bacterial content and several other things only then it enters into the channels through which the milk is made to pass through and then the uh, process various processes are carried out over the milk so as to convert it into cheese so the next thing that is done is milk is mixed with colors and microbes like lactobacillus lactis lactobacillus cremoris and streptococcus thermophilus so what is the function of these three bacterial uh, culture or strains that we are going to add they are going to impart sourness to milk so again here you have to remember the names of the three strains that are used uh, while we make uh, cheese so these are the three different varieties or three different types or cultures or strains of uh, microbes that is lactobacillus bacillus lactis lactobacillus cremoris and streptococcus thermophilus so all these impart sourness to milk as a result lactose is converted to lactic acid and uh, this lactic acid brings about the coagulation of the proteins or proteins are going to gel out this also is followed by whey or water that is removed uh, which has got other uses so you must have seen this at times uh, when the milk is a few days old and if we try to heat it uh, the proteins get coagulated so during this time we find that the uh, watery portion of the milk get separated so that watery portion is referred to as whey so this whey is removed and only the solid portion is taken and uh, this whey has got several other uses further the solid uh, or the coagulated proteins are mixed with enzyme rennet so this enzyme rennet from elementary canal of cattle used traditionally is now replaced by enzyme protease from fungi that makes it vegetarian cheese so earlier the enzyme rennet was uh, used for making cheese but since it was obtained from the elementary canal of cattle uh, it did not go down well with the vegetarians and so now instead of uh, making use of rennet obtained from the elementary canal of cattle we make use of an enzyme protease obtained from fungus so this makes it a vegetarian cheese so let us try to understand how this uh, 
fungus produces this particular enzyme protease chymosine the key component of rennet is a protease enzyme and its function is to break down the proteins to amino acids that cuddles the casein in milk casein is the major protein that is present in milk so the coagulation of this casein protein is brought about with the help of uh, rennet enzyme so chymosine is the key component of rennet rennet we had seen that it's an enzyme found in the alimentary canal of cattle and the main component of rennet is chymosine and it's a protease enzyme and its function is to break down proteins to amino acid that is curdling the casein in milk now we have seen that uh, because rennet was obtained from cattle it did not go down well with the vegetarians and so uh, what the manufacturers uh, or producers sought was that there was some replacement that was needed for rennet so with genetic engineering it became possible to isolate rennet genes from animals and introduce them into certain bacteria fungi or yeast to make them produce chymosine during fermentation so using uh, genetic engineering the rennet gene is introduced into the fungus bacteria or yeast and then it starts producing this chymosine which is a protease enzyme so instead of rennet now we make use of this protease enzyme uh, that is obtained from funguses so this brings about the curdling of the proteins or coagulation of the proteins that are there in the milk this is followed by cutting solid yogurt into pieces washing rubbing salting and mixing essential microbes pigments and flavors so once the whey has been removed that is water has been removed uh, you get the solid yogurt which is cut into pieces it is washed with water rubbed uh, salting is carried out it uh, salt is added to it along with other microbes which are going to be good for our health pigments and flavors so that we can obtain cheese with different flavors it is then cut into pieces and kept for ripening so cheese is kept for ripening very fresh uh, cheese if you are using freshly prepared cheese it is uh, very soft for example it is called as cottage cheese or commonly what we refer it to as paneer so that is uh, freshly prepared cheese and that is also called as cottage cheese or paneer similarly cream cheese and mozzarella cheese are all fresh forms of cheese but uh, the if the cheese is going to be stored for about 3 to 12 months then semi hard cheddar cheese is formed whereas ripening if we are going to keep it for 8 12 to 18 months very hard cheese called parmesan cheese is formed so this is this process is referred to as ripening that is it is kept for so many months for ripening so that you can get a cheese of a appropriate flavor and texture so this is how the cheese is prepared so i will be sharing with you the video of amul cheese factory and it's really interesting to see the entire process of making of cheese